Hey allies, Ratchet and Clank is here and usually we would give you best settings for 720 and 1080 but as you can see with the 720 footage on the left it's just not worth it. Okay some of the pixelation is actually the weapon but don't worry about that it just does not look great at 720. So we will go straight into the 1080p gameplay and settings after we go over a couple of other issues. One of the issues being the fact that it can crash if you don't set 6 gig RAM or above this will crash on load and I'll link to the video below of how to go and change that. Also if you have this set to 120 hertz when you start up especially in 1080 or set high or above settings in the game itself it will also likely crash out due to lack of memory. Also there has been quite a few reports of trigger issues with the rapid fire not working on the press and hold. You can fix this by changing the game profile for Ratchet and Clank on the trigger and set the dead zones to 20 and 65. This seems to work perfectly after that so if you are having trigger issues to consider doing that. Even with the 6 gig change you will get a warning that the drivers are out of date. We're still waiting for Asus to give us new AMD drivers for this but despite the warning it does still run but you will need to use your touchscreen or mouse and keyboard to get through that section because it has a launcher which isn't as obvious with the show launcher on the bottom right so if you untick that you should be able to bypass that in future. Running this at 1080p though 25 watts is needed or a custom TDP of 18 18 18 also worked fantastically well for us however in some of the more demanding scenes it did struggle a little bit so our best settings for this overall giving 30 to 45 frames per second is the medium preset with the motion blur off and screen shake off as well as chromatic aberration and vignette off sharpness of 8 1080p at 60 hertz with amd fsr 2.1 enabled with dynamic resolution with a minimum fps of 30. now as you'll see in this footage it is fairly hectic and i've put the side by side here of the cpu boost on versus off I forgot to center the overlay so it is off center a little bit but what you will notice is that the frames per second are pretty much the same at that 25 watt mode but the battery wattage is quite considerably lower with no fps boost that and the temperature is also a little bit cooler so if you are looking to have cpu boost off that is a worthwhile fix to save that battery and also a bit of temperature Overall though, it is a fantastic game to be playing on the Ally at 1080p. I really did not like the way this looked and I could not get any good settings that I'd be happy to recommend at 720p. So 1080p all the way for Ratchet & Clank, it's definitely the better way to play on the Ally. You will get better than 30 frames per second in a lot of the areas. So you can flip that FPS target to 45 when you're out of some of the main battles. Or obviously plug in and use 30 watt mode just to gain that little bit of extra power to be able to push that 45 more stably. Let us know in the comments below what you've been running on the Ally and what your best settings have been. We'll continue to monitor the game and hopefully we'll get some updates of the AMD drivers soon and we'll retest then. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.